I am the daughter of a sixth generation Floridian and commercial fisherman. And my dad grew up in the panhandle of Florida. And so from the time I was uh, very small, I've been around the water and harvesting food um, for personal consumption, but also to sell. I was familiar with um, Bold New City of the South and um, did some looking up on all the promise that that could hold. It seemed to be a good place to lean. Um, it certainly has felt um, bold and um, sometimes frightening, you know, to take this step. So it kind of just kind of hit a lot of different buttons at one time in addition to bold flavors. I think starting your own business and launching out and doing something um, creative and some would say crazy requires courage and boldness and so it was a good mantra for us to see that every day that we get up you know it's like bold city pops okay bold like we've got this we talked about many different things many different possibilities for food trucks but we knew that sharing something that people could consume was what we wanted to do with our mobile business. I came to the Grove, uh, I guess over 10 years ago, um, to help work with students doing a service project just to help clean up and tidy. And I think we got to have a little bit of fruit. And so that process um, was certainly exciting. I've done a lot of service projects in my lifetime but um, there was something different about this space that sort of invited you to come back again and check it out. But it's become a refuge for us as business women uh, and an opportunity for, for me to get back to my roots as someone who harvests food. So I do often feel like um, I'm back home when I'm here and um, when you have a pair of clippers and you're on the ladder and you're picking it, time, it, it disappears. Um, moving from the field to the kitchen uh, puts a little extra something in, in your product because you see all a aspects of it. It's not um, just like we're going to the grocery store and, and buying something, but we are actually um, choosing from a tree what it is that we want to go in our popsicle. And of course we can't do that with every fruit or vegetable, but we're thankful for the ones that we can because we live in, in a, a great state that has um, much freshness to offer. I've always been involved in community and um, usually smaller communities, so now I'm thinking about kind of the city as a whole in a way that I haven't before, and that isn't something that I really expected to use. I, I know what the city of Jacksonville looks like and I know how to get around, but I didn't know that I would come to think of it as a body of people the way that I have. I think moving into the pop industry has opened up like this door. <laughs> and I've, I've learned, even just living in Jacksonville, I lived in Jacksonville for five years before I became um, a pop maker. And I feel like I live in an entirely different city. Like I've met so many new people and learned uh, things about our area that I had no idea even existed. I truly believe that each of our pops tell a story and it's, um, yeah, it's maybe, juice and organic simple syrup and um, sometimes that's all for an orange pop it's just that simple but it's so much more complicated. We've definitely had a chance to connect with people on where their food comes from and for them to understand that um, so much um, opportunity exists locally to try to get food um, whether you can eat a whole blueberry right off of a bush or an orange right out of a tree um, or have a slice of it brought to you and, and a popsicle um, I think that that's something that people kind of just waking up to um, and then certainly people that are already um, in tune with that they're really excited about what we offer so it's nice to see them kind of get it right off the start which makes me think that we're on to something and everybody else will come along I think.